All right, Micromod Dude here again, and we're going over some quick GPS modules for your for your drones or your flying wings or your your spaceship that's going to go into uh, outer space and need to navigate around Mars. Whatever you need, we got for you right here. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just going to go over a quick quick, uh, quick couple of modules here for your drones, especially I'm building a new uh, Cinewhoop drone, but I also want to be able to make my Cinewhoop drone um, have a uh, GPS built in for some reason. I've always wanted to play around with that and um, felt like this is a good opportunity to uh, install it. And um, so basically we're gonna go over a couple of models here, the uh, the BN880, which is, as you can see, pretty big compared to the smaller BN220. Now the 880, of course, the reason why it's, it's, it's fatter and bigger is because it doesn't have, a, uh, because it has the built-in uh, GPS, I mean, the built-in um, uh, compass as the uh, the BN220 uh, 220 does not have that and it's also got some I think it has flash memory but I'm not sure because according to the website where I bought the uh, BN 220 um, over here as you can see it says here we could kind of zoom in here oh, wow, I'm not getting that good here so um, hmm. well, I'm not getting good focus anyways it says here that the BN the uh, the BN220 does have flash memory there, um, but I've heard some people say it doesn't, but here it says it does for, uh, to save the, um, the you know, whatever memory organizations you want to put on there. Uh, the A80, of course. Now, the other the other main difference, um, as you see the size is the BN220 is 22 millimeters by 20 by 6, and then the, uh, the A80, of course, is a lot bigger there, the 28 by 20 by 10. Okay, it's a lot thicker, of course. And, of course... The um, the uh, the BN eight eighty does have the uh, the active antenna versus the other one that doesn't. All right, so let's look at a couple more things here. I'm going to do here for you guys is we're going to actually let's zoom this out a little bit here. Okay, we're going to look at the weight differences between these two bad boys. So let me uh, pull this over to the side here, and let's actually pull this up a little higher. Okay, so let's zero this out here. Okay, zero it out. So let's do the fat one first, the BN880. And that weighs a whopper 13 grams versus the BN220 that weighs only 5 grams. So you're going to say, oh, it's because you're getting the built-in compass that's, you know, incorporated into it. Well, I got a solution for you guys today. I was looking over the internet going, there's got to be some kind of um, compass module that I could get. And guess what I found? I found this little bad boy right here. And you won't believe how much this thing weighs. So with this little compass module, basically, let me zoom in here if you can see it there. Let's go on this side here. Okay, so check that out. See that module here? Let me give you the um, the part number for that. That's the compass module. It's the, um, the GY273. Of course, I have not tested it, this out yet. So I'm not sure uh, how great and all that it is, but what I wanted to do is check this out. So again, got the compass on there, about five, six grams. I mean, the GPS module, the BN220. Then throw on the compass. Check this out. One gram more. If you want that, you want to see something interesting? Watch this. Zero this bad boy out. Let's throw on the compass by itself. <laughs> Half a gram maybe. 0.6 of a gram, it doesn't even register uh, as even one gram. So these two combined here, you're looking about maybe seven grams total. That's gonna give you the same features as this big heifer, 12, 13 grams there. So if you wanna save some weight on your drone, at least you're gonna be saving at least six, seven grams then I, you could go for this small little combo here. So again, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna try this with this little bad boy. Mount that on there. And um, we should be good to go there. So, and of course you can see the, the size difference. I mean, look at that. That's, I mean, that's a beast compared to these little guys. And this one here, I mean, like you could put it somewhere on the drone and then this one here, you could put it inside the drone somewhere mounted on the bottom there frame somewhere hidden. I mean, it's so freaking tiny. I mean, it's super tiny. I mean, it's like my, it's like the tip of my finger. Look at that. Really? I mean, 
Look at my thumb compared to it. My thumb is a fat one compared to that thing. I got small hands too. I mean, you know what they say. But anyways, um, compared to this one. So, you know, it's up to you guys what you want to do. You want it all built into one unit. And it comes out to the same thing anyways. Because when you, when you, uh, you hook up all these wires on it, the wiring is going to be basically the same. So um, let me see if I get my other one here has a wiring diagram here. Uh, maybe it doesn't. No, no, I have to look it up online. It doesn't show the uh, the layout of the of the pin diagrams, but basically the pin diagrams that come out of these, uh, I think this one has it here. So let me show you here. Okay, so here it is. So all you really need to worry about here is just your your um, where is it at here? The SLA and the SDA. I mean, that's all you're really hooking up for your compass from the BNA80. So there it is. It's already there. Just, you know, wire it up, put it, put it the same. I mean, probably powered up to the same thing. Uh, I don't know. I think, I don't know if this thing it takes, what's the voltage on that little bad boy? Ooh, I didn't even see. Look at that thing. Okay. So that little bad boy, actually, here it is right here. Let me show it to you. I got two of them for like seven bucks. Check this out. So as you can see here. It says here that it, it takes only three to five volts power. So, I mean, pretty much you could see, I mean, I'm gonna probably wire it up to the same wire and then just, you know, hook up those other two wires to the other, those other two ports there on the, on the, on the flight controller, you know, the, the uh, basically that SCL and the SDA. So that's basically it. I mean, you know, I'll be, tell, I'll be honest with you, I'll show you, you know, what I did is I bought this little one and I go, you know what, maybe it's kind of useful to have a compass. And then I ordered this thing. I ordered this little um, uh, compass separately. But somewhere in the description, uh, I read uh, of 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 the um, of the compass. It said that it was like freaking. Here it is. Let me show you. Look what it says here on the description of the compass. So, as you can see right here, where is it at? Uh, ten grams. It says right there weighs ten grams. And I'm like, what? Ten grams? That's ridiculous. If that weighs, if this little thing, if this little bad boy here, you know, weighs 10 grams, you know, I might as well just get this fatty right here. Because then that would be 10 grams plus 6 grams, you know, 16 grams versus 12, 13 grams. That's a winner. But they, I think what they did on the web, on the, uh, on the Amazon um, posting that they did on this thing, I think they went like the whole... You know the packaging and everything so I and then because you get two of them so yeah I got another one right here I could use later for seven bucks you know and you know so I think the packaging probably that's probably what it was let's see if that's what it was let's see what's going on here Charlie all right so let's zoom out of here a little bit and let's see so that's our zero we'll put on this one there we'll put this one here okay then we'll put this packaging there and then put back in there. That's only four grams. So I don't know where they got 10 grams from, five grams. Maybe, maybe because maybe also with the, the Amazon package they put it in, you know, you know, Amazon, they put in these giant envelopes the size of King Kong for this little tiny thing. I mean, I've gotten stuff lost in these packages. I order, order multiple items from Amazon and they throw like one little thing inside the bottom and you, if you're not careful, you'll throw it out. And I, I almost did that last week for some little tiny batteries I bought for my calculator. So basically there it is, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, your, your BN880 versus your BN220 with the compass module. So, you know, I mean, that's a win-win deal if you want to go and save weight and save uh, space and, you know, your limited space on your little, you know, you're building, everything's doing, a lot of people do Cineweps now. It's a big thing now. It's the hot thing is is the whole Cineweps idea, which I'm getting into, you know, and um, basically I'll show you my Cineweps right here. I'm going to be putting this little bad boy in. So, you know, this little this Cineweps that I have here, basically, I mean, let's see what I could do. I mean, you got the cinema up here. Yeah, I can put this GoPro right here in the front. GoPro mount goes, the GoPro goes there. I mean, I could even put this like right here because the battery's going to go over here. This is a fatty, you know. Look at this little thing. Just, I mean, it's so tiny. You can put the wires right through there. Bam, it's it's done, you know. And I can mount the maybe the, the compass on the inside. I mean, it's a win-win situation with this little bad boy. 
So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I'm still trying to hit those thousand subscribers to get my monetization up and running again. Until next time, peace out.